And we're going to move over now to surge protection devices. Um, let's see what we got here. Surge protection devices protect equipment by preventing damaging transient voltages. We've never really talked about transient voltages, but let this graphic here is just trying to show you what it might look like. So it's like a little box with some lights on there, and the wires might go up there, go on a breaker. Uh, I don't think we have a picture, I don't know, but these surge protection devices can just plug right in to the panel itself. So there's a lot of different technologies and how you get surge protection. We'll talk about, well, what is it? We're going to get there in a second. So here's power. Let's say we had some kind of transient from lightning that went on the utility power lines, and then so we get transposed over into the primary of the transformer, and then there's a secondary of the transformer, and so there's a turns ratio. And then let's say it becomes a thousand volts on the secondary. Now for an instant of time, we're, we're shooting this high frequency transient right to this electronic equipment. We're, we're talking about stuff that's not like a, a resistive heating element. And, and that thousand volts for a fraction of a second, it just wipes out the equipment because the equipment was not designed to be taking a thousand volts. So now, what are sources of transients? Well, Transient voltage inside of a building can originate from high current loads that are switched off, then on again, such as those of copiers, laser printers, motors, and air conditioning. I don't think so much today because we have nonlinear loads, but I remember years ago when we had incandescent lighting in office buildings and they had laser printers, you know what I mean, or copy machines. Well, that, it would cycle on and it would cycle off. You, you press a copy machine and all of a sudden you see the lights flicker. So th there is a dipping in voltage. And, and say when a motor starts, and you've probably seen that sometimes. You have an air conditioner starts and there's a dipping in, in voltages during the inrush as that thing is starting in there. And so what happens is somebody here said something, I think, about, well, a motor, if you look at it the opposite way, it's a generator. Right. So if you take a motor and you're running it as a motor and all of a sudden it starts at what? High in rush current, then what happens to voltage? Well, the voltage goes down. But we didn't describe, well, what happens when you turn it off? Well, when you turn it off, well, now it becomes a generator and now it's generating a voltage. So when you turn off high inductive loads, they can generate, particularly motors, air conditioning loads, fans and things like that, generate a transient. And let's see if we have a little graphic here. Here we go. So maybe we should show, well, this could be copy machines, whatever the case may be. So right there. So here's your normal voltage waveform. And then for a fraction, by the way, you see all these little dips, all the stuff going on like this here? That's reality. We show in the nice sine waves, but I mean, in the real world, things are turning on, turning off there, loads coming on. There. And so when they, if you, if you capture this, so we kind of like remove all those, but we could set a threshold to find out why did they wipe out? Well, you can see that we have this dip, and then all of a sudden, we have a transient. And this is originating inside the building. And I don't know, did we want to show Eaton's uh, video on, on surge protection? I'll, uh, I'll include it as part of the uh, okay. program online. So Brian will include a video as part of surge protection and, and that process there. And they explain this. So now you have transients, OK? So then we go a little further. You can have transients come in from outside the building, utilities, um, power factor correction, maybe lightning strikes. So, outside of a building can, can, can cause the voltages inside the building uh, to go up. So now you have these high frequency, high frequency meaning it's, it's so short in duration, but it's in, in a quick speed of time there, that it's going to be damaging the equipment.